Igboho, only Yoruba leaders meet over the ongoing issues. Hello, my wonderful people. Thank God that Yoruba leaders are finally meeting to have a discussion, a word with regards to all that is on ground. Yoruba leaders since um, July the 1st, when Buhari's government sent the men of DSS to come out, carry out atrocities in the home of Sir Sunday Buho has not really spoken in that regard. But at least it is a good thing now that they are having, I mean, a meeting, you know, is in Kotonou and uh, all that is happening is a good thing they are having this meeting, you know, to, to see how they can come in, which is good, you know. Um, I mean, not totally happy with all that is happening, but at least uh, it's better than nothing. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Igboho, Oni Yoruba leaders meet. Some prominent Southwest leaders met behind closed doors yesterday at the palace of the Oni of Ife, Oba Adeyeye, over the state of the nation. They also discussed the arrest of Chief Sunday Igboho, Yoruba nation agitator. The nation gathered that the meeting had in attendance about 30 persons, including Senator Abio Dun and other prominent persons. Advisor, a former political advisor to ex-president Olusegun Basanjo and a former People Democratic Party governor candidate for Lagos, Jimmy, were also there. Deputy Chairman of your State Council of Obas were also confirmed to be there. Also, there are other permanent persons who were there to understand and to look into the state of the nation and why things are the way they are, what they can do, how they can come in, how they can stop some of these things ongoing. Explain that the meeting was originally conveyed to discuss national development, but had to diverge into Sunday Boho's arrest. They said the, essential, the essence of our meeting is a call by the new of Ife, that we need to come back to our routes and do things the way we used to do them successfully. A lot of things have gone wrong in the past few years in this country, politically, economically, socially, and we want to put things right in the right perspective. That is the essence of this meeting. Coincidentally, Sunday Buhu was part of what we discussed. We did not ignore the issue. No, we can't do that. It's one of our own. But it was not the main issue we discussed. We need to be at the forefront of what is happening in this country. We are going to make wider consultations, whereby individuals, groups, and others will be carried along to put things in the right things. We cut across the southwest states at the meeting. We are going to make wider consultations with monarchs, it is time for us to get it right. A former governor for your state was there as well. National Council of Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Lai Odu, also spoke, at, spoke on Sunday Boho's arrest as other issues were looked at and discussed. So, this is what happened. The only of effect called the meeting uh, that had to do with uh, Chief Sunday Igboho and um, it not just, I mean, that was not the basis and the focus for the meeting, but they have to, you know, discuss and see how they can, you know, save and help one of their own. Because the truth of the matter is, if everything has gone on as planned, they will also benefit from it. But because some of them are benefiting from this very present administration, they don't want things to change. They like things the way they are. They want things to continue that way because their own butter is being bre their own bread is being buttered. But the truth of the matter is, life is beyond you. It's not just you. What about other people, other persons who are also, you know, in need? What about the children who can't go to school? Life, there is a lot going on. So, I mean, why do we focus on ourselves and forget that there are other people, there are other things that are of importance that need also urgent attention? The truth of the matter is we cannot pretend that all is well. No, he said, no, no, we can't pretend about that. There is no need to pretend that all is well. When you and I know that all is not well, there's no need for that. We must tell ourselves the truth. 
we must encourage ourselves to say the truth at all times because the situation at which we find ourselves and the things that are happening if we don't stand together as one and defend ourselves you will be surprised you see and um, it's rather unfortunate that since this whole thing happened we've never really heard the obas you know and the, and the and the people you know speaking in terms of what the people will really the people really want what is the need for all this agitation? This whole agitation came because Buhari failed. He failed. Beside him failing, we've not even heard from the vice president. You know, I know that his position is more ceremonial, but I mean, he should speak. I know that he doesn't want to be, you know, in anybody's uh, 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 bad book. But when he comes for you to speak, whatever you need to do to speak, you should speak. Because if you keep quiet and evil occur, is as though you knew what is happening. You could have saved the situation and you did nothing. You know, you, could, you did nothing. This has happened before where we saw that Esther was reminded, say, this is what you are doing. Do you know if you were here for a time such as this? Do you know why you became a queen? Maybe it's so that you can deliver people. You, you, you see? So this is what we must pay attention to. This is what we must definitely pay attention to you see leave us a comment we really like to hear from you because i mean they, they are beginning to meet and i hope that this meeting we go a long way and we support they will not just meet have a discussion and end it there nothing must happen to chief sunday Boho. you know he's a human being at the end of the day you know he's a human being we must not do things you know chief sunday Boho and uh, uh, and can are just products of injustice going on in our country serious injustice going on those who are killing people are being celebrated, you know, given, uh, given uh, uh, jobs, looked after, you know, celebrated and all that. Why those who are carrying out, who, are, who want good for the people are the ones that are being, you know, that are being persecuted? How do, we really, how, do we, how do we solve this issue? How do we solve it? When you look at it, you know that there is serious oppression in the land. Well, yes, very serious oppression. And that's why we all need to speak out. We cannot be silent when, when the people around us are being treated in this way and in this light. We must speak up. We must speak out. That's the only way we can get safety. If we keep quiet, we are not positioning ourselves pro properly and correctly. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.